I think for this video, this week, oh my gosh, both the cats are, come here. Come here. Your big head is in the way. Your big head, are you show them? Do you show them your big head? The big head. Okay, now it's too close. It's too close. So I think for this video this week, it's literally going to be just a bunch of different things that I decide to film throughout the week. Kind of like um, a vlog. I have a bunch of like different little things that I want to show you guys, but I don't think they're like worth enough for just like a video. But also it's not like a daily vlog because it's not all happening in one day. And it's not really like a day in my, I guess it's kind of like a day in my week. I don't know. But the first thing I was like, I have to show everybody. So my friend Kiara, um, also known as the Hemingway, she sent me these. She sent me these Lego, Lego animals. So there is a little hamster. We have a bunny rabbit. Hey, we have a bunny rabbit. Can you scooch? And there's a calico cat. Also, there's a calico cat right here. Is this you? Is this you? Oh my goodness. And here is the finished product. I, that took actually quite a while. I don't know why I thought this was gonna take five minutes max, but that was, that was fun. I am also super excited to show you guys my new rabbit hay box and litter box. It's right behind me. My dad helped me build it. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting one of these for a little bit now, but I also didn't want to spend $126 plus $100 shipping. So we custom built one. So here is just what it looks like. So the litter box sits nicely inside. It easily comes out. I just have to attach the hay part to the litter box itself. So I finally got a chance to use my bandsaw to make a bigger sand bath for Toonie. I also went ahead and cut out this piece. I'm gonna use this for something in Penny's cage, I'm thinking. And I also ordered some of these little dowels off of Amazon. There's 200 of them and I'm gonna use them as the little fence posts. So, I have to get gluing. I'm using my non-toxic wood glue, so let's get started.
hi, um, do you think that I could get one honeysuckle, please? Yeah, just, just one. I only have three dollars. Just, just, just take, oh my gosh, she's throwing my money around. Hello? Hello? Can I get my honeysuckle? Hello? Service? Service? I'm gonna, I need to speak to your manager. You're hitting me now? You're hit, is this your manager? Excuse me. Did you know your employee hit me? Your employee hits your manager too? Oh my gosh. You're gonna give me a refund with my money? Oh, thank you. This was not very good service. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the finished product of the hay box and litter box combined, but this is what it looks like when there is litter and it is full of hay. The rabbits have been loving it and it definitely is a lot less messier than my previous setup. The only thing is that they do pull out the hay all into the litter box a little bit faster, so I might have to put some extra dowels, but we'll see. So here is the finished product for the sand bath for Toonie, and I'm just going to put it into her enclosure now. And here is the finished sand bath. I think it turned out really well. I really like it and I hopefully Tooney likes it too. Nickel, do I need to refill your water? Yes, I do. Good morning. Hi. There you go. Do you need a treat? I am so excited. I ordered a package. Um, let me just show you what it is and then I'll explain why I ordered it. So, you can probably see what this is. It's a tiny dollhouse kitchen. Look at it. This is a little island. Last, last one. Oh, there's another sink. What the heck? Ooh, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. I think I just thought I was ordering this stove and apparently it came with this whole extra kitchen part. Cause I don't think I, this was supposed, I don't know, I don't know, I got it. Oh no, it broke. I'll just have to glue it. So now I can explain why I ordered these. I've seen a lot of reptile accounts on Instagram do these really cute um, kitchen videos with their reptiles and then they like make something. And I just thought it was so adorable and that it would be so cute to do with my hamsters. So I just went ahead and ordered a bunch of like mini dollhouse kitchen stuff. And I also ordered, um, a bunch of like kitchen accessories, which I'll show you in a second. So these are the tiny little accessories that I got. So there's like a kitchen mixer, rolling pins, some plates, eggs, cracked egg, some oil, loaf of bread and flour, and even a scale. Well, 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 look who is awake at six. 30. Penny's new sleep schedule is wake up at like 6 p.m. 
And then he's pretty much up all night. He is an early riser. Um, most hamsters aren't like this. <laughs> he's just special. I also got a package for Penny and that is some more sprays for him. So these are from Night Angel. And we have some sore gum. These are small pieces, so I think I might actually give one to Nickel and Toonie. Um, and then we have some oat sprays. We have some really pretty, I think, the, I think these are called like bunny. I swear they're called like bunny sprays. <laughs> I could be making that up though. And then there's some millet. I'll also probably share some of that with the dwarfs. And then I can't remember what this one is called. So I am gonna go ahead and add those to his enclosure. Let's hope that he doesn't destroy them all right away. So at least it can look a little bit aesthetically pleasing for a short while. I also might add in something to his enclosure and some more moss. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I kinda wanted to make a secret tunnel down here with this cork. 